Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So, Javante Tank Davis finally has an opponent for the Mayweather-McGregor undercard. It appears that he's going to be facing Francisco Fonseca, who has 19 wins, 13 by way of knockout, zero losses, and one draw. He won his last three fights by knockout, not that TKO BS by knockout. Um, it looks like he's primarily fought in Costa Rica, and he's had a couple of fights in Argentina. Now, I really don't need to break this fight down because you already know what time it is. Right? You know who's going to win this fight. You know Tank's going to win this fight by knockout. But it really wouldn't have matter who the opponent was. He was going to knock them out anyway. But what's going to happen here is this is going to get Javante Davis even more exposure than he would have gotten fighting on CBS or Showtime or whatever. Because everyone's going to be watching the Mayweather-McGregor fight, whether you want to admit it or not. Everyone will be watching it. And the card isn't that bad. I mean, at least we got Sean Porter on the card. We got Badu Jack on the card versus Cleverly. So it's an okay card. Not the best card, but it should be somewhat exciting. Now, Francisco Fonseca is there to get his ass beat. Simple as that, okay? To showcase Gervonta Davis' skills. Now, me personally, and this is just what I think. I think at some point, Gervonta Davis is going to have to wind down and fight Lomachenko. Now, from what I've seen, I honestly think that Tank can beat Lomachenko. And you know what? Gervonta Davis said that Lomachenko ain't really a draw. And you know what? Lomachenko proved that he wasn't a draw over the weekend fighting on ESPN because he got less viewers on ESPN than he got on HBO. These are all facts. Look it up. So Lomachenko's not a draw, okay? And you know what? Lomachenko needs to learn how to speak English as well. And you know what else Lomachenko needs to start doing? Stop sneak dissing people on Twitter. You putting up initials and shit. Why don't you say niggas' names? That's all you got to do. Stop playing, boy. You know what time it is. You see, the thing is, Gervonta got to see Lomo, and Lomo got to see Tank. You know, personally, I don't think either one of these guys are afraid to fight each other, but I think it's the politics that's getting in, in the way of this fight happening. On one side, you got Mayweather. On the other side, you got Bob Arum, both of which have worked together before in the past. However, both of these fighters are both sides star pupils, if you will. They're star fighters, right? You got old-ass Bob Arum trying to build up Lomachenko, right? And you got Floyd Mayweather trying to build up Tank. And he's building up Tank in a way similar to how Floyd Mayweather came up in the rankings, right? Not exactly giving them the toughest opponents to fight. Uh, the best, fight, the best uh, fighter on Tank's resume is... Uh, Jose Pedraza, right? Now, he def he defended his belt against, uh, what was that, Liam Smith, right? And he also defended, well, he won from, he beat Pedraza, then he fought Liam Smith, right? Or was it Liam Walsh? What that nigga name is? Liam Walsh, my bad, all right? So, that was his mandatory. You can't really say shit about that. He got that out the way, right? So, now we got Fran Francisco Fonseca. He tried to get the boy who beat Lomachenko ass, but... He was injured. You know, both Lomachenko and Tank tried to go after him, but he was hurt. So, that's fair. Now, let's see. What, damn, I done lost my train of thought and shit. Oh, yeah. So, this what it is with Tank, man. They're not finna throw him to the wolves, okay? He's not getting thrown out there to the wolves just yet. However, I think that if he wants to continue campaigning at 130, he needs some legitimacy. He needs to fight one of these other champions in a unification bout. And who better than Lomachenko to put on your resume? I think he could beat Lomachenko. All that, that slick shit he be doing in the ring against bums, against Mariaga. Like, he completely outclassed Mariaga. He couldn't even knock the guy out, though. But you're going to say, oh, Lomo made him quit. So... That has to count for something. Like, this feather-fisted boy ain't shit, man. I ain't the biggest Lomachenko fan. But I, I will admit that he is 
at times he's exciting to watch. I mean, what he did to Nicholas Walters, that was some, you know, I was legit, you know. But as far as him being pound for pound number one, stop saying that bullshit, man, because he not pound for pound number one. I think Tank beats him. I think that hand speed and that power will stop Lomachenko. And I, I'm saying this shit on record, okay? Bob want to come in. Floyd want to come in and make this fight happen. They need to make that shit happen. P- to be honest with you, I don't think either one of these dudes got faith in their fighters to win. I don't think Bob want to pair him up against Tank, and I don't think Floyd want to pair Tank up against Lomo. That's just that's just how I feel about the situation. Now, back to this. Who is this dude, man? This this creator player looking dude. Who is this dude? Francisco Fonseca. I'm just looking at this dude's record. He, he got a bunch of nobodies on his record. Okay, I don't know these. I don't know none of these dudes, man. He fought all these dudes in Costa Rica, man. I ain't never been to Costa Rica, all right? So I don't know if it's popping out there, but you let me know if it's popping. I'll head out there, shit. It ain't nothing. We can pop some bottles and head out there. But Fonseca, this shit, did he bring him out from a lower weight class? I don't even know who this dude is, but he about to get knocked the hell out, man. And it's going to be easy work. And it's going to be a good platform to knock a dude out on. To get more exposure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think Tank is a bigger draw than Lomachenko. Let's be honest. He's a bigger draw. He went over to the UK. He got the UK fans in his pocket. And now the whole world's going to be watching Mayweather McGregor. And hopefully they're playing, they're paying close attention to the undercard. Because it's going to be very exciting. Now... I'm going to make another video about Lomachenko. You know, the thing I don't like about Lomachenko, man, when he was fighting on ESPN, I never heard so much dick gobbling in my life from grown men, ever. Everything they would say, oh, Lomachenko, he's so exciting. He's just the most exciting fighter that's ever been in the ring. He's more athletic than Floyd Mayweather. He's He's got the offense and he got the defense. He ain't got no damn defense. Face looking all marked up. Now, I know one was by a headbutt. We got black eyes and shit. Getting getting tapped by a bum. Man, we're gonna go on Loma. We gonna go in on Lomachenko on the next video. Hitman boxing. Let me know what you think about Tank versus Francisco Fonseca. I think Fonseca's getting out of there in two rounds. Three rounds, maybe. Hitman boxing. Have a great day. I'm out. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities. But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist, staring out in space, scheming what my next move is. I'm thinking that it's time to move west. No idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best not exactly where i thought i'd be honestly a nine to five never was in my dreams i've been feeling all alone lately nothing i ain't used to since 88 as a baby when i came up out the womb everybody knew it was something special about me that fills the room i never understood it but my og told me it's a blessing i should use it to the fullest and that's what i've been trying to do but it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free from the army of clouds I dream about a month ago While I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go So I booked it, couple friends took it personal Like why you just up and go Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro It was unintentional Conversations with myself, I need a hospital I think I've gone bipolar Half of me is conservative and the other stoner I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl The temp is negative 18, yeah that's a cold world Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back Because the future's not a present, gotta get on track I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds 
Surrounded by clouds, free me. It's like an endless dream leading to endless roads. I wanna be free from this army of clouds.